So good morning everybody and welcome. I'm going to take a different uh, stance on talking technology for a second and talk literally about some use cases. Um, the first slide I'll put up here talks roughly towards the growth in data volumes, which is nothing new to us. It's not net new news. What's interesting is the top right hand corner, you'll see it took Facebook something in the realms of nine months to s achieve the same kind of subscribers, users, as it took the radio community 40 years to achieve. So for me, that is a statistic that is phenomenal in terms of the growth of data and the use of data that we're seeing across the business. More importantly, when we start looking at big data, particularly at SAP, I mean, SAP is the world's largest business applications provider. We have over 200,000 customers worldwide. So we, we think we have, or we know we have, our finger on the pulse of what our customers are looking for for use cases with big data. So this is a, a couple of examples I'm going to quickly run you through. So the first one here is from the uh, University of Kentucky. that actually looks at their student profile, the behavioral profile of their students, and tries to focus their attentions on the underperforming students. Well, some of you may think, well, that's part of their normal course. That's what they should be doing anyway. But there's a lot of human intervention that takes place. What we've been able to do is actually apply some science to this and actually look at how that student interacts from the semester that they're into, the courses, the exams that they take, the theses that they submit, and determine whether they're actually exhibiting a good path to success. Now, they have hundreds, thousands of students, each one of them at a different grade in their learning cycle. And the last thing you want to have happen to you as a university is that that student has put a lot of investment in getting trained, getting schooled, only to end up failing. That's not a good outcome for anybody. So the first thing we do is actually analyze their interaction at the, stu at the student campus, which is how do they get online to the student website? How do they submit their exams? What is the profile of the input from their exams? We can do textual searching with that with the platform. And by the way, we are using Hadoop in this case as well. So that the students and the teachers, the lecturers, the professors get real-time information about that student and their behavioral patterns and can interact with them immediately. They don't have to wait for two days, two weeks after they receive the results. They can interact online, send them a text, send them an email, and get more social with that particular student. To the extent that they've seen their retention rate with the students increase, but they've also seen the success rate increase, where they become one of the top universities across the United States. This is a, a sport that's dear to my heart, soccer, or football, <coughs> if you're from, uh, from Europe. So most of you will be familiar with jogging. You use your watch to determine how fast or slow you're running, but you can also get a more sophisticated device to determine your heartbeat, your heart rate, your blood pressure. Well, we actually have sensors that are fitted to every single player within a team. And we can actually analyze that player in real time, and we feed that information to the coach of that team so that he can decide what strategy he wants to run in terms of how he's facing his opposition. And again, real-time information deriving real-time statistics to provide real-time insights. And in this case, we're using geospatial data at the same time. Now, what does that mean for you guys? You know, I'm standing here talking about use cases. I'm a technical geek at heart myself. And you're kind of wondering, well, what do I get out of it? Well, here's the good news. The good news at SAP, we have a, a big data geek challenge. And I'd urge you to come and visit us at our booth, 311, on the third floor, where you have the opportunity to use our product, SAP Lemura, which is a self-discovery analytical tool. You can build out your own visualization. You submit that idea into SAP. And if you happen to win, you get a grand prize of $10,000. Yes, $10,000, just for an idea. 
That's pretty amazing from my perspective. This is an idea of what the visualization looks like. We've actually used it in the healthcare environment to help us analyze cancer treatment care. So these things are possible. And I'd urge you to take a look at it. We'll provide more details at our booth, 311. Come along, visit us, and enter in your chance to win $10,000. And with that, my time is up. It was a very quick five minutes. But hopefully you got a little bit of information out of that. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your conference. Thank you.